They're taking a live look now over the Rocket City from our Way 31 Air Care System SkyCam network. Tonight, we're learning more about the cyber attack on Huntsville City Schools and what personal information the district is now saying may have been taken. Way 31's Max Cohen joins us live. He talked to some parents about why they're concerned, despite the district saying they can't confirm that any sensitive information was compromised. Max. While the district said Monday that it was not aware of any misuse or theft of personal information, it admitted that numbers and like social security numbers and emails may have been accessed. So um, I have major concerns about that. How come it wasn't prevented? For Huntsville City Schools parents like Jennifer Oliva, the district's announcement that it was not aware of any theft or misuse of personal information did not come as a relief Monday, especially since the district, erring on the side of caution, acknowledged that select state student identification numbers, social security numbers, and parents' email addresses may have been accessed. I just wanted to know what they were going to do to prevent this next time. Because our information has potentially already been compromised, there's nothing that we can do at this point. Superintendent Christy Finley says there's no way to guarantee this never happens again, but said they're taking steps to try and prevent it, such as replacing devices. We will put provisions in place and precautionary measures based on what we've received as recommendations and guidance from our cyber experts. We've actually already done that. Uh, so there are agents and software in place to protect um, our, our network. In addition to having concerns about the personal information, Oliva told me that both of her children have special needs and had been learning online exclusively, and she says she fears they may have fallen back during the period where they were unable to receive instruction from their teachers. Reporting live in Huntsville, Max Cohan, Way 31 News. Thanks, Max. Huntsville City School says it has not contacted the attacker or paid any ransom.